February 24, 2024, and we are in Vermont, exploring some back roads, doing a little bit of skiing, and we're going to Billings Farm, and we're going to Sugar Bush Farm to taste maple syrup and cheeses. So let's go and check out these places. We are in Ludlow, Vermont, and we're driving towards Okimo Mountain, which you cannot see right now because it's a little cloudy. But you can see on the right corner of the screen, you can see some of the ski trails. It's cloudy today, we just got maybe a half inch, three quarter inch of snow this morning. So we're expecting, you know, pow day. <laughs> just kidding. but. Um, we're expecting it to be beautiful and fun, so let's go and have some fun on the mountain. We parked on the parking lot, whatever number it is. So you have to take this bus to make to the mountain, but that's no hassle at all. It's really quick and free to use and they run all day long. Basically taking the main lift here after you take two small lifts to get to this major lift. So now we are arriving on the top of the mountain and I'm not sure what this lift is called anymore. I forgot the name of it, but this is the very top where the restaurant is located. The beauty about Okimo is that there are easy trails all over the mountain. You can take any lift and you won't be stuck with a black or a difficult blue. Pick your trail, Maggie. <laughs> The view is not bad at Okimo Mountain, I mean it's no Rockies, you know, it's the east coast, so this is pretty much it. Uh, of course there are better views, but this is not bad at all, and on a beautiful sunny day like today, we were here for four days, so some days were a little cloudy, uh, but today is a beautiful sunny day and you can see far in the horizon and it's gorgeous. Smoking, baby! <laughs> <laughs>
Vertex we go? Okay, drop it. You're doing good. Jackson Gore, Vertex, Eclipse, Quantum Leap. We're gonna do Quantum Leap right now. Let's do it, Ali. All right? Okay, let's go. Okay, so let's go to Woodstock, Vermont to check out the town and the two farms that are in the vicinity.
We can visit down there, right? There's like some stuff down there. Mm -hmm. Do not oh. pet me. I'm a working dog, not a petting dog. Even though I know I'm very cute. Don't touch the dog, Ollie, okay? Let's go. This fudge? So this is Mountain Jack. Mmm. So good. Mmm. Mountain Jack. This is a four year cheddar. Thank you very much. We have up to an eight year for sale in the store. The next one is our award winning smoked cheese. Mm. We want a national I like the cheddar cheese. In Green Bay, Wisconsin for this and we uh, smoke it with real hickory and maple shavings. This is horseradish. Yes. It is not overpowering. It's actually very nice. It's like a mild wasabi. There mm -hmm. you go. Mm, I love the cheddar. Amber and dark. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Mm, oh my god, it's amazing. And then dark is the white label. Mm -hmm. oh, here we go. Bye bye. <laughs> so good. So everything is through those doors, as you know. Cheese and maple syrup are in the second room, and Carol knows exactly what you tasted. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. if you have any questions. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you for coming Thank back. you very much. You're welcome. The smoked, I like the shatter. Let's get one smoked and one shatter. Snowfall throughout the winters. 2022, 61 inches of snow. 1920s, 55 inches of snow. 2012, 2013, 72 inches of snow. Okay, let's see the maple syrup factory right here. Sap tanks. Okay, we're inside a maple syrup farm I don't think this equipment's being used at the moment I'm in the barn Woo Okay no that's what they do You can take one of this. Can you take one of this? And uh, this is how they extract the sap from the tree it's they don't use that bucket system anymore because a lot of dirt falls in it and then it the, the, the whole thing becomes more complicated so it's all plumbed basically there's this little clip with the hose that leads to the main line that leads to a sealed container down there you know gravity takes care of everything it keeps you know dripping and the sap goes into the safety tank and that's how they do it nowadays very modern these are all maple syrup trees actually some are pine trees so it's pine trees mixed up with maple trees
Let's go. Absolutely. That's my favorite place. I love these general stores in New England. They're all over New England and there's so many cool stuff inside. You can find amazing things. Wow, this is so cool. A lot of maple syrup from local farms and local producers right here in Vermont. Some have really beautiful bottles. I bought too many of them, trust me. Lots of olive oil on this shelf and balsamic vinegar. There is basically a liquor store inside of the general store. Lots of wine, some booze too. Champagne, booze, all kinds of stuff. Some clothing, warm stuff, local merch. Gloves? For me? On this area, some snow toys, hiking boots and agricultural equipment, gardening stuff, um, they make keys here and sell bullets, guns, I think guns too. And some front door mats and tote bags, oh this one is really cool, I should have bought that one man. Kind of a workshop back here, I'm not sure what they do in this area but there's a key making machine and then some office, I'm sure they uh, make custom ropes and other stuff that you may need. Just the aisle I'm looking for. Beer. Vermont beer. Oh my god. They have really good beer in Vermont, man. I have to tell you. I've been trying and I'm loving every one of them. Some really cool cast iron pan uh, here. Uh, if you know me, you know I love cast iron pans. Quanto custa esse peão? I had one, but a big one. Can you do it? I can't, it's so hard. Yeah? There's so many controls in here. Okay, still got time. I don't think they're even open until 12, right? Yeah, yeah.
Okay, I think um, we had a nice walk in Woodstock and that general store was really cool. Now we're headed to Billings Farm, which is about five minutes away. So let's go check it out. This is like a goat house or what? That's where they put them on like a snowstorm, right? This beautiful house used to be the manager's house, not the owner. The owner had a much bigger house on another property nearby, but the manager lived here and we're going to go check it out. It's now a museum and a really beautiful house inside. It was very state of the art for the time and um, lots of comfort, wood stove, water heaters, stuff like that. So let's go check it out. So this is part of the plumbing system. <clears throat> this was a very modern stove for 1890, very wood. Below us is a huge system, a huge tank, and when it rained years ago, water would come from the roof and go into the tank. That was rainwater. And then this was a pressure pump that goes into the tank. They could pressure pump water up to a tank above us, gravity over the It's so pretty to see this gorgeous. This was very unique to have in a farm, you know, setting. It's a big closet for, for that time. And you want to, I want to just look in the closet. Have they hang their clothes? Do they have hangers? Well, you know what, hangers were around Just where it was needed 
This thing is actually not very old. My father had one of those. My father had one of those and used the horse to pull it. Yeah. It looks like it's a billion years old, but it's not. All this equipment is like 1800s, 1900s. Look at the seating machine. That's a seating machine. Mm, I think my father had one of these or that. More like the green one. side you mean barn yeah let's do it it's happening right now I saw it I saw it drip. look Trees will blow. 